Is that the editor's office? Okay. Murder, murder. Never something like it. More was the mouse knocked off. Peter the pooch rubbed out. Many of the bugs missing. Thirty years, man and boy in this newspaper game. I never saw nothing like it. Something's wrong. Cold is all doing the best. I don't know. Newspapers, radio. Most you hear, most you read is murder. Come in. Well, who are you? I'm a busy man. Speak up. Uh, my name is Ted. Ted Simmons. I've been trying to get in touch with Mark. I told my girl to keep you out of here. How'd you get in? Well, I knew she had to go out sometime, and when she did, I walked in. Just like that, huh? Sure. I wanted to see you. No wonder there's so many murders. What do you want? A three-letter word. J-O-B. Don't need no janitors, copy boys, or ink devils. I'm a reporter. A reporter? Where did you ever report? Booker T. University. But don't let that frighten you. I know a thing or two or three. Say, you must have read my column. I sent it to you every issue. Say, I know this nightclub right from way back. Why, well, I've interviewed all the big shots, all the glamour gals, and... That's enough. I need a reporter, but not one of your kind. The last guy I had here was enough for me. This was his first job. His name was Hal. He was popular, but foolish, hard-headed, knew it all. Instead of keeping his head and sticking to the job, he gets himself fascinated with a nightclub singer by the name of She was fooling around with a guy named Louie, a piano player. Nice guy, but too busy with his music to pick his women. This Lola was a bedwell, all right. She was mixed up with a fellow by the name of Mike, a gangster. And he, of all people, had to break out of prison. I said to Hal as he went out that door, Hal, take it easy. Stick to your business. He, he did not. I sent him out on a simple story. Told him to go to Bill Smith's nightclub, stick around, talk to the people, and get the human interest. What did he do? Instead of getting the information that I sent him for, he went gallivanting with Lola. The way I see it, honey, anyone with talent like yours is just wasting her time around that joint. Of course, you've got to be known first, but. That shouldn't be too hard if you have friends who can help you. Supposing now my paper got interested in your, uh, well, so now someone on my paper thought that you had what it takes and wanted to help you get there. Pictures, art layout, something to catch people's eye. As a matter of fact, I know someone on my paper who could help you if you wanted to be friends. I look at it this way. To get any place that takes friends and connections. Everybody knows that. Well, you've got the talent. All you need is the right connections. You make everything sound so easy, Al. I wonder just what the right connection is. Oh, I wanted to listen to the broadcast. Oh, I see. You've got one of those television sets, huh? What, hip in the jungle? Hip? Look out! Ow! Since we all got hip, lost our saucer lip. Flip your lip. Flip your lip. Flip your lip. Flip your lip. was out of place. Soup came into space. Flip your lip. Flip your lip. Flip your lip. Flip your lip. Then swing cage to us from afar. Help this up to what we really are. No college of knowledge could ever disapprove. Mr. Living Son, Margot Lee, say we're in the room. Well, it's all right, Mr. Living Son. I'm a cute little bangy from you, bangy. Bingy, bingy, bangy, bangy. Yeah, I don't really tell you nothing that this chick can do, you bangy. I'm a cute little bangy from you, bangy. Bingy, bingy, bangy, boo. When it comes to loving you, no telling what I'll do, you bangy. If you should go exploring and find things boring, then let the bingy, bangy up. I'll make your trip a treasure. And for your pleasure, this thing won't stop. Mom, I'm a cute little bangy from you, bangy. Bingy, bingy, bangy, boo. My advice. See the silver through you baggy. 
Who's that? Must be Louis. If he finds you here, he'll break your neck. Sweating it out, you're running around with this dirty rat, Lewis. I break out of jail to see you, and you're running around with him. I'll kill him if I get my hands on him. Still, those are both our glass. Oh, my honey. If you only knew how I wear for you those long, cold nights. Well, there won't be any more nights like that for you, baby. You're coming with me. And make it snappy. The cops are looking for me right now. I'll be ready in a minute, honey. Right where you are, he sees you, he'll kill you. What's the matter, baby? You getting bashful all of a sudden? Well, you know, after two years with no men around. So Lewis wasn't here, huh? Oh, my, honey. You know I would be. You're just hiding jumpy, baby, that's all. You've been lonesome for your load, but you don't have to be anymore. You have her now. Now just sit down and rest a minute while I finish stretching, huh? See, that reminds me. I gotta get out of these clothes. A cop will take one look under this overcoat and I'm a dead pigeon. Got any idea where I can pick up a suit? Say, I have just the place. Some fellow I know. Oh, another one, huh? No, honey, not that kind of fellow. He's married, but he has plenty of money. He owns the club I work at. His name's Bill Smith, and he's real friendly. If I just went up and asked, he'd lend me a suit for you. Give it to me. Well, he would, huh? Well, let's go see this Bill Smith. Good, babe. I'll get my head and put it in the hole. Could be a nice story. That girl Lola is a lala for Lucy, isn't she? Yeah, she's crooked as a barrel of worms. But she's smart, too. She has a lot of gall. You know, she even took Mike over to Bill's apartment, intending to promote a suit of Bill's clothes for Mike to wear instead of that uh, prison garb he's wearing. <laughs> Bill was out, so they decided to come back later. Smith? Bill and Mary sounds like two names on registry. No, Bill Smith is his real name. I knew him 15 years ago. He was a decent fellow then. He was a detective. But the money was coming to a slow, so... Now he operates nightclubs. He calls it uh, Bill Smith Incorporated. Yeah, I know his secretary. Gee, she's a swell kid. An animal with three letters starting with A. What the heck could that be? Oh. Bill Smith Nightclub Enterprises Incorporated. Who's busy? What's busy? None of your business. <gasps> oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Smith. Excuse me. Oh, yes, that was Mr. Jones. He kept me on the phone a half hour. Yes, sir. No, sir. Of course, sir. Oh, you won't be back tomorrow morning? You're going to a park? A masquerade? Oh, gee. Oh, excuse me. Oh, have a nice time. Mr. Smith, please. Who wants him? Hal Ford, reporter. All information given to the press is given out by press releases. Say, sister, look, relax, relax. Nobody wants to interview your Mr. Smith. That much of a big shot. Besides, I've got something very important to tell him. What? Well, uh, I'll tell you. There's somebody on their way over to his house right now who ought to be in jail instead. And Mr. Smith, being a former detective, would better know the kind of people he associates with. Real gangsters? Gee, isn't that exciting? Why, it's just like the book I've been reading. Come mm. on, come on. Where is he? Oh, I don't know where he is. He went to a masquerade. Where? How's 
should I know? He's probably there getting drunk now. All oh, sometimes he gets so oh, drunk. Oh, never mind, never mind. Just give me the dress. I'll go over myself and see what I can do. Gangster ought to be in jail, and maybe leave Lola alone. Lola, the singer? Oh, never mind, never mind. Just give me the address. And say, you'd better stick around until you hear from me. Oh, but I have a dinner date. Well, go ahead, but you'd better come back right after. Something might come up. But Bill wasn't at the club, so he rushes out to Bill's apartment to see what was happening. Funny, that door being unlocked. There was Hal, my dubious disciple of Horace Greeley, marooned in Bill's apartment while Bill was at a masquerade party sipping and dipping. Getting high, huh? Getting high? High as two Georgia Pines. Man, don't you know that even I took a few too many there? Felt kind of good. You know, before I knew it, I was standing in front of the band singing up a breeze. <laughs> Why don't you take off your mask? I know who you are, Mr. Smith. Oh, you do? <laughs> Mr. Smith is going to play for us again. Yeah. If you want to be happy when your skies are blue, Listen and I tell you then there's just one thing to do. When dark clouds come your way, open up your heart and then say, Hello, happiness, when you come on in. Hello, Mr. Happiness, where have you been? I was so blue and so low down, so low down. 
waiting just for you to come around. So hello, happiness in my heart, you abide. Hello, Mr. Happiness, come on, stay close by my side. Oh, my friends, I love you best. When I have you, I know I've got the rest. So hello, hello, Mr. Happiness. Hello, happiness in my heart of Hello, happiness, stay close by my side. Of all my friends, I love you best. But I've got you, I'll keep the rest. So hello, hello there, Mr. Happiness. Hello. Good time. Oh, I'm having a wonderful time, Bob. Say, how about getting no Noble Sisson for me? I, I'd like to have him for my club. Could you arrange it tomorrow? Could I arrange it for Noble Sisson to be at your club? Yeah. Man, leave it to me. I'm solid with him. I'll fix that up for you. Okay, Bob. I'm, de I'm depending on you now. Pay no mind. Pay no mind. Look at Bill. He's making a fool of himself. I'm going to take him home right now. Come on, honey, let's go. I have a headache. Oh, I don't want to go now. Let's go. Well, why don't you come on over to the house and have a drink? Eh? to the nicest little mess
bunu mi? You heard what happened. They won't be home for quite a while. I need a suit. Hey, you. Oh. Really a good thing I came along. Just in time to you. Don't come. But well, listen, not ten minutes ago, someone tried to rob your house. But I caught him. Well, I'm mighty grateful to you. <laughs> uh, I wonder could you do me just one more little favor. It seems my keys are missing. Maybe the person found them. Uh, could you climb through the window and uh, open the door for us? Why, certainly, Mr. Uh... Smith. Glad to go. Uh, seems to be in good shape, but you never can tell. Maybe we better take a look around before we leave, just to be sure that woman didn't take anything. Well, everything seems to be all right. Guess we'll turn right in. Had a hard day today. We'll go right to bed, uh, I guess. Bad business leaving stuff like this around. That's how robberies happen. Callousness. Here. Well, yeah, that's right. Well, aren't you even going to cut it? Well, it looked all right. <laughs> it's all right, believe me. Well, you never can be too sure about money. And this. Bet that cost plenty. No, that was a present from my boy. Must be a pretty nice guy to work for if you could afford things like that. He is. Yeah, certainly is. Bill Smith used to be a nice guy. Yeah, I knew him when he was on the police force.
going over to Bill Smith's house. I've always wanted to see how he lived. Come on, honey. Everybody else is getting in the act. I'm going to do my number. Yes, sir. I've got your double, it's too late, baby. You've caused me so much trouble. You took my love for granted, just as if you didn't care. I've got a brand new squeedy going to carry on from there. I don't mean maybe. My train is waiting to do goodbye. I'm gone. It's too late, baby. I've got your double, you've been nothing but trouble to be. Mike said that prison garb had put on one of Bill's suits. Attention, attention. Le Master Uni, for Uni Conference, et j'espère qui allait à l'éperon, la guerre tout défense la mort, ferait tout le monde pour la guerre. Tout le toujours, à ce fini. So do I, Count. Now, as I was saying, Mike, assisted by Lola, pulled the wool right over the willing eyes of Jerry the cop. <laughs> <laughs> to me, baby, as soon as he finishes that call. Okay. You tell him. Goodbye. Well, I guess that fixed thing. I hope so. You want to hear the rest of that number now? I'm awful tired. I should get my beauty sleep. Me too. You with those clothes on? Oh, yes. We always dress for bed. Guess you better make it some other time, Jerry. Personally, I think that's very rude of us. After all, what Jerry did was tonight. Play that song, Jerry. Yeah, make it nice and loud, Jerry. I think I hear someone outside. Many crooks call me. Hey, sweet stuff, here's a number for my new show. Would you like to play for me? What key do you sing in, baby? Oh, B flat. It's a good thing you're singing B flat, baby, because that's the only key I can play. It. Good deal. Who's that? Beat it. It ain't played. You love someone. The way I love you like I do. 
And if his bill ain't here, he run away and say he didn't want to see nobody tonight. Now, scram. I can't help it if I love you. Okay, you ask Now, shut up, all of you. Do what I say. I need to. It ain't right, but I can't help it ain't right to love someone the way I love you like I do. It ain't right to love someone that don't love you. I can't help it if I love you. Cheating on me too. It ain't right, but I can't help it, cause I do. I'll wash and dry your dishes. I'll clean and make your bed. I'll work and save around you till my face turns cherry red. If I want to work and slave to be with you, it ain't right, but I can't help it, cause I do. Take a score, Daddy. Stop it. trouble and sorrow in one minute than we can rid ourselves of in a lifetime. Bill thought Mary was cheating on him when he called from the police station and Mike answered. Hello? None of your business. Who's this? Where's Mary? This is Vanderbilt 8316. And Mary won't speak to me, huh? Not tonight, mister. If we wait till I get... Mary was certain that Bill was doing the same thing when she called and Lola answered. Well, well good night, Good Jerry. night. Well, good night. see you again, Jerry. Hello? Is that any way to talk to a stranger? Doesn't want to talk to you. Is it for me? No, Jerry. Well, nobody cares for an old cop. I guess I'll be on my way. Well, okay, night. Jerry, I'll see you again. Come on, baby, snap it up. We gotta go. Honey, wouldn't you love to know? Heaven only knows what's going on in my own house. Well, that about does it. Oh, yeah. Just one thing more.
Wait a minute, baby. I think this time the back door. Imagine Bill Smith being grilled at the police station. Gefella, Gefella, the Krieg in Palestine, Jerusalem is grown, constant person with Lagarin and Cyprus, the Krieg is nicht, Arriba, the Krieg is nicht, Arriba. Is that so? Well, don't worry, Ted. That secretary of Bill's got him out of the clinker the very next morning. Quicker than you can say, cottontail rabbit. Bill Smith Nightclub Enterprises, Incorporated. Who? How what? Reporter? Oh, of course, yesterday, I remember. Say, tell me, what happened to that gangster? Did you go to my boss's house? You're still there? Why? Good heavens, Mr. Smith in jail? Why? What? what did he do? Did he kill the gangster? Now, isn't that Selling. Well, I'll have to call him. What police station is he in? You don't know? Well, I guess I'll have to call them all then. Wait then, and I'll call you back. Police headquarters, Sergeant Takata talking. Do you have a Mr. Bill Smith there? Who? Say, who do you think you are? Putting people in jail for no reason whatsoever. Why don't you learn your business? Is he tall, dark, and kind of gruesome? Was he drunk? Well, that's my boy. Look, I'm telling you he is Mr. Bill Smith, president of the Bill Smith Enterprises Incorporated. And if you don't release him immediately, I'll call the commissioner. Who am I? I'm his boss. I mean, he's my boss. I'm his secretary. Are you going to let him out or not? All right, all right. I'll let him out. Daddy so-and-so. Wasn't enough for you to take my wife here to break my house or two. Bonsoir! Au revoir, the same! Au revoir, mon bon compatrie! Ma boss, assurément. Goodbye, Count. Hey, who in the world is that guy? Who, him? He's our foreign editor. You know, Ted, a man and wife should never try to take it out on one another by making each other jealous. It leads to trouble. Look what it did for Bill and Mary.
got to squeeze. Oh, she's got a story they're putting down. Anytime they're clowning round. Sam's got my man and he's out of town. Oh, please, that's the cheese you got to squeeze. All the chicks gonna pitch a ball. Way uptown in a big time hall. There'll be no GIs there at all. Oh, please, that's the cheese you got to squeeze. They tell you everything is all real. But watch that GI go. If that cat gets a fellow, he might meet you at the door with a 44. You'll be drugging that I know. Somebody's got to go. A GI Joe with a 44. Oh, please, that's the cheese you got to squeeze. Now, boss, our next number needs no introduction. It's your own little Lola. I'm sure you're gonna like this number, honey.
for you to help me. I have someone I'd like for you to meet. Anything that'll make you happy, honey? Mr. Smith, I would like for you to meet Mike. I like your taste in clothes. Yeah, thanks. That's what I want to talk to you about. He was in a lot of trouble and had to change clothes awful fast. Well, of course, the flowers, you Oh, yeah. Let it fit. Go on back and enjoy the show. Yeah, thanks. Prison break, huh?
And now, Mr. Smith, here's the number that I wrote for your new show. Make it good, boys. The boys is out front. A one, a two. <laughs> Not all the exits. A little investigation here. As a former member of the Detective Bureau, I insist that everyone stay until the police arrive. Now we'll see what happens. There's nothing doing here. He's dead. The police are just starting to investigate now. Yeah, it looks mighty bad for Mike. There was Hal at the phone, getting ready to tell me who the killer was, when. Enough is enough. Take him, Inspector. Hat first. Come on. What's the matter, Bill? Come on, give me the story. I'm holding the presses. My reporter just hung up on me. <laughs> How clever it was. Hal, your reporter. Figured that by killing Louis, Mike being an escaped convict, would be blamed. Leaving the field clear for himself and Lola. <laughs> oh, so that's how it was. Say, what happened with you and Mary? Oh, that's a funny one. You cheap home record, sneak, and stupid about these children. You jealous cow, jealous cow, you! Come on, break it up. Break it up. What is it? Break it up. What is it? Break it up. Break it up. Break it up. Now what? This time you're going to spend more than a day in jail. What are you talking about, officer? Look, Mr. Smith, I know a bad egg when I see one. But I was in jail myself last night. And I thought you were with another woman. I thought you were with another man. Tell him now I understand. understand. I don't understand a thing. Uh -huh. 